Uh, at Dr. Stardis, we are starting our third lesson now. Uh, what we have in our third lesson, I think I already explained to you in the, I think in the first, the week, last week or the week before, that whenever you have an alif lam, whenever you have an alif lam before a noun, it is haram to end it in the tanwin. If you have, for example, what we've been studying is for baytun, masjidun, kursiyun, qalamun, miftahun. You see, at the end, we've always been hearing a um sound, the tanwin sound. But the moment we have al before it, we are no longer allowed to say al baytun or al kursiyun or al qalamun or al kitabun. We have to now say the double vowel is reduced to the single vowel. So from baytun we get al baytun. From qalamun we get al qalamun. From kitabun we get al kitabu. From masjidun we get al masjidun. So basically the moment we see an alif lam before a noun, we are not allowed to say, to say the read of double vowel at the end of it. That's, a, that's the basic rule. So, in Adar al you can see that we have Baytun, and look straight after Baytun is Al Baytun. And then Kitabun, Al Kitabun. Qalamun, Al Qalamun. Jamalun, Al Jamalun. That's the rule. That's what this lesson is about. Sorry, we're on page 14. Page 14, Adar al Now, um, in, in we've got these sentences now that are coming up. So we, we've said "hada bayton," "dalika bayton." You know, we've been using the indicative pronouns in the last two lessons. Here, the indicative pronouns have gone. So "hada," "dalika," they've gone now. We've got two nouns. We have two nouns. Okay. Now you said al qalamu, al qalamu. So we know what al qalamu means. What does al qalamu mean? Yeah. The pen. Yeah. So this is another thing I should have told you. Is that the moment you have al before a noun, it becomes, it makes it a specific noun. So when you had qalamun, it meant a pen. Al qalamu. The pen. So when you say a pen, it could be mean any pen. But when you say the pen, it's talking or indicating about a specific pen. The pen. So, baytun, a house. Al baytun, the house. Masjidun, a masjid. Al masjidu, the masjid. So, meaning that just by saying the masjid, it's not enough. You have to give now information about it. Like, in what about the masjid? So, if somebody says to you, um, Al Baytu, right? You now need to know what you want to say. What do you want to hear about the bait? Okay, you said bait. Now, finish your sentence off. So, you say, Al Baytu Nazif, or Al Baytu Ba'idun, or Al Baytu Qaribun. You know, Al Bayt is, is clean. Al Bayt is far, the, the house is far, or the house is closed. You, you've got to give some information about it. So after that, you've got to make it a complete sentence. So, where we have Al Qalamu, Al Qalamu Maksur. Maksur means broken. Okay? Maksur means broken. So, Al Qalamu Maksur, the, the pen is broken. You're talking with this specific pen that we're talking about now. The pen is broken. Al babu maftuhun. Al babu maftuhun. The house, so that the door is open. Al babu maftuhun. The door is open. 
So, when we said al the door, just imagine that you're having a conversation with someone, you're talking to someone, okay? And you're just all of a sudden talking about, let's say, a house, okay? You want to talk about the house, and you're saying al okay, the door. Now, the person is going to say, what about the door? The door is open, okay? Or you've left, let's say you've left home and you've gone, and then you realize, al the door is open. You've left the door open. You know, we don't say, or we've left a door open, that could be any door. But when you say, we've left the door open, that's telling you that you're talking about the main door. The door is open, we've left the door open. You know? uh, or we've left the window open. The window. Now you've got a specific window in your mind. Okay? You've got a specific window in your mind now that which window is open. You don't say, we've left a window open. When you say, we've left a window open, that could be any window. But when you say, we've left the window open, you've got a specific window in your mind now that you are saying, which you're referring to. So, um, Let's move on. Al waladu jalisun wal mudarrisu waqifun. Al walad means the boy. Jalisun sitting. Okay. Jalisun means sitting. Um, wal mudarris. What does mudarris mean? Teacher. Teacher. The teacher. The teacher. Waqifun standing. Okay. So the the boy is sitting, okay, the boy is sitting, wal mudarrisu waqifun. And the teacher is standing. Now, another piece of information that I want to give you here, we will need this later, okay, because I'm teaching this book somewhere else as well, and I realized that I didn't probably, that concept that I want I to tell you now, this concept is going to come later, but I realized that the current, but when I taught them this concept, I will tell you now, I taught it to them last week and they didn't understand it. Then I realized that had I taught them at the beginning, when the opportunity was there, then maybe they would have sat down much more easier. So I want you to understand one thing that in Arabic, there are two types of sentences. Okay? There are two types of sentences. We have a nominal sentence and a verbal sentence, something we use in English grammar as well. So a nominal sentence refers to, in Arabic, jumla ismiya. Jumla ismiya. Jumla ismiya, a sentence that opens with a noun. Jumla fi'liya is a sentence that opens with a verb. Okay. So, have you got, uh, first of all, this is important as well, okay? Uh, we've got to make sure that, if you haven't written it down, if you just maybe take pictures of it, so that I will rub this off, so until I hope next week that, you know, um, we're able to be ready to read it as well, you know? <laughs> Tilka, Tanika, Ulajika. Okay, we just need to familiarize ourselves with that. Um, hmm. I'm take, can I take it up now? Have you taken it, sister? You're taking it on. Is Vishal Patel here? Um, Muhammad Ahmed Duba.
Okay, in the Arabic language, there are two types of sentences. There are two types of sentences. You have the ismiya, jumla ismiya, and you have the fi'liya. Ismiya refers to the nominal. It's a sentence that opens up with a noun. Fi'liya is a sentence that opens up with a verb. Do we get that much? Yes. Let's move the next level down now. Jumla ismiya has to have two important components in order for it to be complete. In order for a jumla ismiya, for a nominal sentence to be complete, it has to have two fundamental components for it to make sense. Component number one is what we call Muqtada. Muqtada. Muqtada means, I mean, we can just take it, understand it as an introduction. The introduction to a sentence. The introduction to the nominal sentence. And khabar is the information. Khabar is the information of the sentence. So you've got an introduction. And until you don't get the information, you don't get a complete picture. You do not understand what the sentence is all about, what, you're trying to, what the person is trying to say. So just by giving you introduction of something, okay, uh, for example, today, I'm, my introduction is, today I'm going to explain what Jumla Ismiya is, and then I finish. And it's going to make no sense to you until I don't give you the full information. Until that full information isn't there of what Jumla Ismiya is all about, then you become, you be clueless. So you have to have both the inter introduction and the information, and then you get the understanding of the concept. So in the very same way, Muqtada is what we can understand as the introduction, and the khabar <coughs> is the information. And then once you have both these together, you get the complete picture. This concept is known as Jumla Ismiya. Is there, and I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example to this as well.
Can we say Al-Kalamun? Why? Because it has Alif Lam before it. Because it has Alif Lam before it, we cannot say Al-Kalamun. Okay? Remember, I'm going to make it sound so harsh that it sits very in your brains that it's Haram. Okay? It's Haram. Okay? If you have Alif Lam before any noun, it's impermissible, it's Haram to say a reader double vowel. I'm stressing it so much. The reason is because, remember, when we started the lesson, let's go back, not last week, the week before. Okay? The week before. What did we do? We actually were reading about the nouns without Alif Lam, without Alif Lam, and we were ending it with a double vowel. That means, so we would say, Bayton, Karamun, Masjidun, you know, all the ones we've been hearing. But we could have to start somewhere. So hence, it might be in your mind that by adding Al, we can still say Al Kalamun, Al Baytun. And I say this because you know, where, I, where I teach in other places, the same concept. And when work is set and they hand it back, people are coming back with saying Al Kalamun, Al Baytun, Al Masjidun, Al Babun. And then I try to pull my hair out. I did explain that when you have Al, it's purposeful. So that I, have, I thought I have to use a really hard word, harsh word, and I said it's haram. <laughs> okay, so I said that I, I hope that that will sit in and say, the moment you're going to see Al before a noun, you are not allowed to end it in a double vowel. Simple. Okay, so uh, because our next homework that we're going to be going away with, right, inshallah. Like it is going to be built on this concept that you have to write the words down and put the vowels on on every single letter so like if you see look at me here I put a fatha on the alif and a sukoon on the lam a fatha on the qaf and a fatha on the lam and a dhamma on the mean you've got one, two, three, four, five letters five vowels every single letter should have a vowel and most importantly the last letter, okay, and once this is all done, and once we complete the book, we, inshallah, we'll be on a level where we will be able to, you know, identify the, what vowel we should be reading on the words, on the letters, and most importantly is this last letter. And we will understand once we get further into the lessons, into the book, we will understand the most important thing we need to know or identify is reading the last, the, the vowel on the last letter. That's what, that's what is important. Hence, coming back to this, is Jumla Ismiya. Jumla Ismiya, Muqtada and Khabar. Muqtada is what we say? Introduction. Introduction. Khabar is? Information. Information. And let me just quickly come over here. This is, this is, to us at this stage, it's irrelevant, okay? It's not important, but I'm just going to give you, just know this, okay? Jumla fi'liya is a, not a verbal sentence. It, jumla fi'liya has to have two parts to it. A fi'il, which means a verb. A fa'il, which means, in, in, in the grammar terms, a subject, meaning the person doing the action. So we know that a verb is an action verb. It's, it's, it's an action sentence. Means you have to describe an action taking place. That's a verb. So a verb, fi'il is an action verb. The fa'il is a person doing the action. Sometimes you can get away with just mention fi'il and fa'il, the verb and the subject, and the sentence is complete. And sometimes you need a third part, which is why I put it into a bracket. Because in a verbal sense, you have to have fail and file. Just by mentioning fail and not the file, it's senseless. Okay, it doesn't make sense. So hence, you have to have a fail and a file for the sentence to be complete. And sometimes you need a third part, which is the maf'ul, for the sentence to be absolutely complete. Okay? Like I said, this is, to us at this stage, this is irrelevant. 
we want to focus on this because this is where the book and the lessons are going to be built on is on the Jumla Ismiya. When the Jumla Fa'iliya actually concept comes, then we will talk in, uh, about it in more detail. So Jumla Ismiya, you've got to have a muftada and you have to have a khabar. Okay? Just buy the muftada and not mention the khabar, it will be meaningless. It doesn't make a complete sentence. So, let's come back to the book now. In these sentences, Al-Qalamu Maksurun. Al-Qalamu Maksurun. And the order is Muqtada. I remember, we're coming, we're going from simple to complex. Simple to complex. At this stage, we've got two words. Two words, and the sentence is complete. Later on, we will get more complicated sentences, where there will be three words to a sentence, four words to a sentence, five words to a sentence, six words to a sentence. In fact, you will get two, three lines to complete one sentence. Then, we need to identify how much of that sentence is going to be the muqtada and how much of that sentence is going to be the khabar. Okay? That's when it gets a little complicated. And this is where I realize that I'm teaching currently in Hounslow. They, I do tell them then that there is a concept of Muqtada and Khabar and now I'm explaining to them Muqtada and Khabar and we're at the stage where they're covering three or four words in a sentence and they thought that Muqtada is only one word and Khabar is one word and that's a complete sentence. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to explain to them, they're not going to go back now. So, we, so hence, this is what I'm trying, I've learned from there and I want to make sure I don't repeat the same mistake with you guys. So I need to make sure that we've understood this very clearly now because from lesson um, three onwards, we are going to build on this concept of Muqtada and Khabar. Even though it's not mentioned in the book, it's not mentioned in the book, but it's going to be an extra piece of uh, lesson I want to kind of share with you. So you have Muqtada and Khabar. Al-Qalam. al qalamu it means the pen. You've introduced the pen. You've said the pen. Now, sir, tell me, what about the pen? Maksurun. You've got the information now. The pen is broken. The information is broken. So we say, Al-Qalamu is Muqtada. Maksurun is a khabar. Maksur is a khabar okay, of the qalam. You've got, likewise, you've got al-babu, the door. So tell me, what about the door? Maftuhun. The information is, maftuhun is open. So al bab is muqtada and maftuh is a khabar. al bab is the, is the muqtada and maftuh is the khabar. Um, al waladu jalisun. Al waladu jalisun. Al walad is a muqtada. Jalisun is a khabar. Let's ignore the wa in between at the moment. That just means and. Okay? And al mudarrisu waqifun, this is the second sentence. Al Mudarisu Waqifun Al Mudaris again is Muqtada and Waqifun is a khabar. Waqifun is a khabar. Now let's go down. Sir, can you ask you can I, yes sir? Why is there the mean at the end of the khabar? The mean on at the end of it? Which are you talking about? Al Qalamu? Khabar. Okay, let's just. You know, you know at, the, at this stage, <coughs> Muqtada and Khabar. Okay, I should have put the Khabar down. Okay, the reason why I say the Khabar because we don't say Khabarun, we say Khabar. Okay, Khabar. We, later on, you will actually get to a level where you're going to be doing a Sukun on the last letter. We say Khabarun. The Qalam. Where's your Qalam? Of your Baab. Okay, you don't read the Baab on the last letter. Okay? 
But let's just take it as it's Muqtada and Khabar. So does that okay? No, I just meant, like, for example, Maqsul, it's yeah. the Tanmi at the end. That's right. But is that because there's no Alif Lam? That's right, absolutely. Remember, we've said that it's Haram. Even though the Muqtada has got uh, Alif Lam, and... Uh, but it, is, it, it has got Tanmi at the end. It's Al Qadamu Maqsurun. Okay, Al Qadamu Maqsurun. Um, so, can I ask you to read from number one, please? Al Kitab Jadidun Wal Qalamu Qadim. Okay. So, what? We know what Al Kitab is, right? Yeah. Okay. What does the mean? New. New. Yeah. So, Al Al Kitab Jadid Wal Qalam Qadim. What does one mean? And. And. Qalam. Pen. The pen. The pen. Oh. Oh. Okay, so Al Kitab is Muqtada. Yes. Al Kitab is, is Khabar. Jadidun is Khabar. Al Qalam is, is Muqtada. Qadimun is Khabar. Khabar. Okay. Do you have a look? I can we Hisanun? Can we Al Hisanun? Al Hisanun. Al Hisanun. Okay, what does Al Hisanun mean? The donkey. Okay, Sahir. Sahir is small. The donkey is small. Al Hisan. Hisan means horse. Kabir. Okay, so identify when you know the moment we drop the word is. So like uh, the first sentence that we read, Al Kitabu Jadid, the book is new. Wal Qalamu Qadimun, the pen is old. Al Himaru Sahirun, the donkey is small. But Hisanu Kabir and the host is big. So look, I'm emphasizing on the is. And the reason for that is whatever you have before is is your muqtada. And whatever comes after is is your khabar. I'm giving you a general rule here. Okay, because when we're gonna build on sentences that are gonna be three, four, five, six words, the moment we drop the is before that, as your muqtada. And whatever is going to come after your is, is going to be your khabar. That's the general rule. That's going to be the general rule. Okay, and that's going to be, we're going to need this. We're going to pick up where the is. We're going to drop the is. Okay, that's going to be useful to us later on. Uh, Mustafa, uh, read number three, please. al kursiyu maksurun. Translate it. The chair is um, broken. Okay, where's your Muqtada and Khabar? The Muqtada is Al Kursiyu and the Khabar is uh, muk Maksuru. Mm -hmm. Next. <coughs> and number four. Al Manadilu. Is it Manadil? Al, al Mina Al Mandil. Al Mindilu. Al Mindil. Wasikhu. Wasikhu. Wasikhu means. Dirty. Okay. Al Iwasikun means dirty. So, uh, translate that, sir. <coughs> Tissue is dirty. Tissue yeah, paper tissue. or. Al Mindilu. Al Mindilu. The tissue. The tissue. The tissue is dirty. Is. Is. Dirty. So, the tissue is the book that. Is is a point where you know, notice the most of the time. After the Gumida Khabar. Khabar is Wasikun. Wasikun. Uh, next please. Are we on number three? Al-ma'u baridun. No, no, Number five. Number five. Sorry, number five. Yeah, number five. Al-ma'u baridun. The water is cold. Okay, good. So, where's your muqtada and khabar? The muqtada is al-ma'u. Mm -hmm. And the is baridun. Okay, and why are you not reading al-ma'un? 
because it has a, a little lamp. Excellent, perfect. Our next step. Al Qamarun Jamilun. Is it Al Qamarun? Al Qamarun. Why? Are you sure? Oh, no. Uh, it's Al Lam. So what are you reading? So Al Qamarun. Al Qamarun? No. Al Qamar. Al Qamarun or Al Qamar? Al Qamar. So there is no. No, but you have to sir, read the la You have to read the vowel on the last letter. With a single, a single. Um, yeah. That's a dhamma, sir. That's your that's your page. Or page. Yeah. So you have to read single page. We don't want to, as a that you say. Alif lam is haram in the Malay language. That's right. Because you got alif lam at the beginning, you can't read al kamaru. Al kamaru. So al kamaru. Jamil. Okay. Jamil. What does that Al kamar means. The moon. moon is a beautiful. Jamil means is a beautiful. Okay, so where is the moon? Al Qamar here. What? Al Qamar is a muktada. Al Qamar is a moon. Jamil. 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 Um. Al Baytu Qaribun Wal Masjid Wal Masjidu Baytu. Okay, can't say that. Al Bayt means. The house. The house. Okay. So okay, these are two sentences here. These are two sentences here, okay? So, where you have the Y, okay? Before that is sentence one. And after whatever comes after Y is sentence two. So, trans uh, show me where your Rukhdar cover is there. Oh, Rukhdar is. Pay to Al-Masjid Okay, next. Al-Hajar is a pillow, while Warafu is a pillow. What is the stone is heavy and the paper is thin? Light. Light. Hafif means light. Okay. Thakil means heavy, and Khafif means light. So if you're not sure, please do put them down on your on the sheet so that you you know what they mean. اللبن حار. حار means hot. The milk, the milk is hot. The milk is hot. اللبن is مبتدا. الحار is hot. Good, excellent. Next. القميص نظيف. The shirt is beautiful. No, نظيف means clean. Clean. جميل means beautiful. نظيف means clean. So مبتدا خبر. القميص Okay, I just want to make sure everybody is understand. So, can we go back to number one again, please? Number one. Al kitab jadidun wal qalam qadirun. Qadir? Qadirun. The the book is new and the pen is old. Okay, where are you going to start from there? Muqtada is Al-Kitab and Qalam is Muqtada as well. And Jadidun and Qalam is the Khabar. Okay, good. Next. Al-Kimadu Sahirun wa Al-Hisanu Kabirun and Al-Kimadu is the Muqtada, Sahirun is the Khabar. And in the second part, Al-Kisanu is the Muqtada and Kabiru is the Muqtada. Okay, next. Al-Kursi. Al-Kursi, Yu, Ya, Yun, Yin, Yu. Okay, why? Because of the elite. That's right, good. The chair is broken. Good. Where is the book that I'm talking about? Al-Kursi. Al-Kursi. Al-Kursi is? Muqtada. Next. Al-Kursi. 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 The star is... No, number four. Al-Ma'u, 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 Al-Ma'u,
Baridun. Baridun. The water is cold. The most of that is Allah. Mm -hmm. And Baridun is the cover. Yeah. Next. Al Kamal, Jamil, the is the the is the is the the Yeah, and the next part of the sentence? Uh, well, must be by Aibun, must be the and Okay, next. Yeah, and then the next part of the sentence? Is it Hajru? Al Hajru. Al Hajru. Al Hajru. Sapiru, Walwaraku, Sapiru. Al Hajar is the Mokhtada, Sapiru is the Khabar. Good. And Al Wark is the Mokhtada. It's Waraku, so Ra has got a Fatha. Yes. Waraku. Walwaraku, Khafifu. Khafifu. Yeah. Wark is the Mokhtada and Khafifu is the Khabar. Next. Al-Labano, Hawr, Al-Labano is the Muftada, and Hawr is the Khmer. Next. Al-Kamisu, Al-Kamisu, the default, the shirt is clean, the shirt is the Muftada, Al-Kamisu is the Muftada, and the default is the Khmer. Okay, Sunshine, go ahead quickly back to the top again. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Good boy. So, uh, your brother, mix, finish it off, please. Wal Kalamu. Good boy. Kadimun, right? Why? Because you, can, you can say Kadimun. Why can you say Kadimun there? Why can you say Kadimun here? Why can you say Kadimun? Because it's got no Alif Lam, right? Kadim has no Alif Lam. Yeah, so that's why you can say, if you have an Alif Lam, can you say uh, Kadimun? Can you say Al Kadimun? Why? Because Alif Lam, good boy, excellent. Um, you have to give a nudge to your neighbor. Give me a nudge. Number two. Okay, where's your move to that summer? Um, the move to that is Al Himaru, and the other is Sawiru. Good, excellent. Okay, do you want to do the next part? Al Himaru, Sawiru. The horse is uh, big, uh, so the motor lies uh, what he's <coughs> and the power is Kabiru. Uh, Good, next. Al Kursiyu Maksurun. Al Kursiyu is Mutada and Maksurun is Power. Good, next. Al Mindilu Wasikhun. 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 Mindil is Mutada and Wasikhun is Khabar. What does that mean? Mindil, the handkerchief is dirty. Okay, next. Alma Baridun, Alma is Mutada Baridun Khabar. Okay. Next. 
قریب والمسجد بعید البیت از مبتدا قریب البیت از مبتدا قریب از قبر والمسجد از مبتدا ان بعید از قبر الحجر و سکیل و البرق و خفیف و خفیف و خفیف و خفیف و خفیف الحجر اس مبتدا اس مبتدا الخفیف و سکیل و اس خبر خبر so I think from now what we understood is that everybody has got the concept of Muftadah and Khabar. Does anybody want to try here? Okay, that's fine. So, um, we have understood the concept. Okay, we also understood the concept that whenever you have an Alif Lam before a Naam, you cannot say the On at the end. You cannot say the Debabar at the end. Okay. Um, for time reason, okay, what I'm going to do is that I want to ask you that page 15, everything, page, uh, question number one, what you have here is you have the nouns, they have no vowels. The nouns have no vowels on here. There's a mixture of some nouns with alif lam and some nouns without alif lam. You have to put the vowels of every single letter of these nouns, including the last one. Okay, that's, that's class number one. Question number two. What's the meaning of the number one? It says, Iqra wa waktu ma'a dhabtu wa what is that? Okay. Iqra, you know what it means? Yeah. 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 Wa means? Uh, uh, Uttu. Right. 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 Ma'a means with. With. Dhab means accurate. 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 Awakhir kalima. The last, you know, letter. So what he's trying to say is that, you have to put the accurate vowels on the last letter. That's what the whole concept was about. Okay, is to know that with alif lam, you cannot have a tanmeen. Without an alif lam, you can have a tanmeen. This is the exercise. Okay? Question number two is beneath that. Iqra, waktu, here. I'll do the first one. Okay, you can see now it's got no vowels on these letters at all. You have to put the vowels on there. I want you to translate it. And I want you to also give me, identify which is the muqtada, which is the khabar. Okay? The book is only asking read and write. The book is only asking read and write. Meaning that you read it and you write it and put the vowels. But I want you to do two extra things. I want you to translate it and I want you to identify the muqtada and khabar as well. Okay? okay? Um, number three, it means imla. Imla means fill in. Al farag means empty. Fi ma yali in what is coming. Bi wat il kalimat al munasiba with an appropriate word min kalimat al taliya from the following words. So, for example, you know, jamilun, wasifun, makfun, harun, taqilun, kafifun. The al hajaru. Al Hajar is a Jamil, is a Hajar Wasir, is a Hajar Mafku, is a Hajar Har, is a Hajar Saqil, is a Hajar Fakhrafif. Because you have the vocabulary, you have the vocab, you have to now put in the right word. Okay? I want you to translate it, and I want you also give me the Muqtadal cover as well. Okay, in this Muqtadal. So for each word, you have to give me three things. Remember, the better you understand the concept, the better you enjoy the Arabic le uh, you know, lessons that are yet yeah, to come. Okay, we have to put more effort in this beginning part. Okay, we're cultivating our minds for the Arabic language, right? Properly, make it the make the land nice and fertile and healthy, so that we're going to grow good fruits, inshallah. Okay, that's the aim. So you have to give us, give me everything. Most of our cover translated, put the vowels in every single letter. Okay, there's nothing more we can do. Yes, sir. Instead of writing most of my cover about 20 times, can we use the M and K? You can use M and K. M and K. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, page 16. Okay, page 16. 
املا الفراغ في ما يلي بوضع بوضع كلمات مناسبه فيه اوكي هيا يو هاف تو دو سمثينج سيميلر تو وات يو ديد ان ذا بيجينينج ان كويشن نمبر 2 نمبر 3 بت هيا يو هاف تو ثينك اوف يور اون ووردز اوكي يو كود يوز يور اون فوكابولري فروم ذا بوك ذات وي بين يوز سو سمثينج از نظيف سو يو كان سي القميص نظيف او البيت نظيف بارد سمثينج از كولد الماء بارد الحليب بارد ملك از كولد يو نو اند ريمبر You have to be very careful here. You can't say, uh, for example, in Nazifun, you can't say, Kamisun Nazifun. <laughs> okay? You have to say, Al Kamisun Nazifun. Al. The first word is you're going to be having Al before it. Al Kalimatu Jadida. Al Kalimat. You, mean, you know what it means? The new. Okay? Al Kalimat is plural, right? Yeah. What's the singular of Al Kalimat? Kalimat. Al Jadida. New, okay. So what does al-qamar mean? Yes, if you don't know these words, please do write them down. Okay, if you don't know what these words mean, uh, write them down because they will help you uh, in your exercise and your homework because then you're going to start to write, uh, fill in the blanks so you know which word you can put in. So al-qamar means moon. Nazifun means clean. Kabirun means khafifun means light. Sorry, khafifun means light. Okay, I'll, I'll repeat it again from the top. Al-Qamaru means moon. Nazifun means clean. Kabirun means big. Khafifun means light. Jadidun means new. Harun means hot. Stop me if I'm going fast. Uh, where should I go? Harun. Harun means hot. Maftuhun means open. Jamilun means beautiful. Qadimun means old. Baridun means cold. Maksurun means broken. Waqifun means standing. Wasikhun means dirty. Sagirun means small. Thaqilun means heavy. Jalisun means sitting. Okay, just beneath there you have Najmun and Najmun. We know the difference now. Okay, what the difference is? Deekun ad Deekun. Rajulun ad Rajulun. Talibun ad Talibun. So we know what the difference is. So next page, page 17. There's nothing much to do here. Okay, other than the fact that You should read it. Al-Najm ba'idun, al-Rajul waqifun, al-Sukkar hulwun. Al-Sukkar means sugar. Hulwun means sweet. Sweet. Hulwun means sweet. Al-Talibu maridun. Al-Talib means the student is sick. The student is sick. Al-Diku jamilun. The rooster is beautiful. The rooster is beautiful. Al-Daftaru jadidun. Al-Daftar means exercise book. Okay, exercise book. Notebook. Al Daftaru Jadidun. The exercise of the book is new. Al Tajiru Ghaniyun. The businessman is rich. He's rich, yeah. Al Dukanu Maftuhun. Al Dukan means shops. Al Dukanu Maftuhun. Al Waladu Fakirun. Al Walad means the boy. Fakir means medium poor. Al Tufah. Al Tufah means apple. 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 Uh, taste. Tasty. 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 Okay. The apple is tasty. Al Tabibu Tawilun Wal Maridu Kasirun. Al Tabib is tall. Okay. Tall means long. You don't say long. So we have to contextualize it. We don't say somebody's long. We say somebody's tall. Wal Maridu Kasirun. And the uh, sick of the patient is short. Okay. Um, What I would like you to do there is, it'd be good to just maybe translate it. Okay, forget the Mubla um, Khabar there, just translate, write and translate it. So, you, you know, you're familiar with what it means. Below, Iqra, Waktu Ma'adabt al-Awakhir al-Kalimat. Here, you need to do the same thing. You need to write this, a verse, Al-Ba'bun, 
Because we've repeated this so many times, so many times, inshallah, we will never get this wrong that whenever a word has an al for it, you cannot end it in me. Simple. Take it, that's how we trust it. Even, I want you to observe that whenever you're going to read the Quran, any word that you're going to see, alif lam on it, you will see that it will never end in a, in a tanmeen. Yeah. It will never end in a tanmeen. So Zalika, we know what that means now. It's a concept of something which is at distance. Hada, we know what it means. It's something which is at close. And anything that is going to have an alif noon, like kitabani, masjidani, baytani, qadamani, the ani at the end that we're going to hear, we know that's going to be due. Like even when we read the Quran, we know that's going to be due. If Allah is talking about something which is due there. You know, hada, hadani, zalika, zalika, zanika, we know now the concept, okay? Um, again, in uh, number two, Imla al Farah, Fima Yali, the word in Kalimatin Munasibatin. Okay, you need to now, Raniyun something, Rani, someone is Rani, right? So, Atajiru Raniyun, Al Waladu Raniyun, Al Ustazu Raniyun, you know, whatever, you put our noun there, it doesn't have to be from there. Moridun, somebody is Morid, okay? Al Waladu Moridun, Al Ustazu Moridun, you know, put any word there. Something is tall, whole one, lazizun, kasirun. Okay, that's for you there. Number 18. Okay, number 18. You have to do the rest of it. What we want to do, okay, do whatever you can. Okay, do whatever you can. We've got to try to progress, okay? Some lessons are short, some lessons are long, okay? We have to try to finish a lesson at least in, a, in, in we have to finish one lesson in a lesson here. Yes. Okay? That's how our aim is. So here, number three, ikhtar kalimatan min qaima. Choose a word from table ba to nasibu, which is uh, appropriate, al kalimatul lati fil qaimati alif. To the table which is in with the word that are in table alif. So at-talibu lazizun, at-talibu maqsurun, at-talibu zaqilun, at-talibu maftuhun, at-talibu maridun, at-talibu haru. You choose from 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 alif to ba. Okay, you have to choose the appropriate. Al-kalimat jadida khulbun. We know what it means. Sweet to take. Yeah. Tawilun means tall. Maridun means sick. Faqirun means poor, Adukan means shop, Kasirun means short, Ghaniyun means rich, Atufah means apple. Okay? Now, lesson number 19, because next week. No, no, I, 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 uh, don't worry. Okay, next week, inshallah. We will start on page 19. Please remind, remind me, okay? Page 19 is a concept, okay? And I don't want to introduce the concept now because I know you guys already burnt out, but I wish you know you read. Okay? Um, Yusuf, uh, Visal Patel has not come, right? And uh, nor has. Um, huh? No. Um, Muhammad Ahmad Doba hasn't come as well. Okay, fine. So we'll leave uh, the home. So um, I hope we're clear. If, if anybody is unclear about anything, please ask. Okay. If you're not, uh, if you're not, um, if you're not, if you're not um, familiar, familiar with the concept, please do ask. So this is a question one. Yes, sir. Uh, let's listen to this, guys. It's wasikhun. Wasikhun because if it was wasikhun. The wa would have an alif at the after it. Wasikhun. It's wasikhun. Excuse me. This uh, question one, Iqra wa kutubu ma zabta wa akhir, what is this to do? What to do with this? Sorry? 
this exercise with tamarin, akrabu kutub ma zabtu wakhir. I didn't understand. What okay, so what you got to do is you have to put the vowels on every single letter there. Vowels. Okay. Yeah. So al ba bu. So ba uh, alif has got to have a zabar. Lam has a jazam. Ba has a zabar. Ba has a pesh. Al ba bu. Al ta ji ru. An naj mu. You have to put the vowels on every single letter. Yeah. Thank you. This letter is it Al Kalimah is it misprint or? No, no. Al Kalimah. That, that, that. It's not Ah, yeah, yeah, you're right. Al Kalimah, you're right. That's misprint. Misprint. Because the kitab was jadid on anyone abroad. So the brother, he ordered like four. MashaAllah. So if someone they don't have. As a signature, they send 650 each. Okay. Um, uh, there, if anybody hasn't got any books, okay. Uh, so how much is six pounds? 650. 650. So uh, their brother has ordered some extra books. Uh, if anybody hasn't managed to get hold of it, it's 650. Okay. So I think you've got one person who's interested there. Two. Two? Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, so go. 30 pounds. So, yeah. That's this, this brother here. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions on this side? Yes, sister. Yeah. Yeah.